what's up good people welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here you're most welcome and if you've been around the block <laughs> thank you for staying tuned um today i have another exciting video and um it's a nice video yeah so i wrote my points down i'm gonna use this book just to remember what i i'm, I'm supposed to tell you guys yeah so today's topic is why marriages fail yeah kuna marriage za kitambo za wazazi wetu na kuna marriage za kita za saizi sasa marriage zetu sisi youngins and it's been reported that 90 percent ya marriages zote zina fail nowadays so i've been in marriage for about six years so i know what really goes down in marriage so I have a few points that I've noticed and I've seen and I want to share with you guys so that maybe I can help some of you to save your marriages. You understand? Yeah, so many people want to go into marriage but they don't know what they're getting themselves into and they don't know what to do when they're already in marriages. You understand? Yeah, so let's jump right into the video. So point number one, why marriages are failing in today's world is because you guys don't know that marriage is sacred marriage is sacred unaona kama kitambo ukisikia mtu anaolewa kuna yani kuna sacred so marriage marriage is sacred which means don't expose your marriage secret it weakens the partner eg ah wacha hata nisitumie kitabu let me just talk the way i know don't you want be vizuri vile iko so uh siku hizi there's so many things happening in marriages Kila marriage iko na shida zake. Hata mimi my marriage is not perfect, but you never see me going to social media and exposing my marriage secrets. Eh? For example, uh, kuna finance problems, kuna bad sex, kuna partner behaviors, partner wako tuseme anangorotanga usiku kwa kitanda, tuseme partner wako maybe anakojoanga kwa kitanda, tuseme partner wako ni mchafu, partner wako ananuka mdomo vitu kama hizo those are your marriage secrets you're not supposed to expose them why are you exposing your marriage secrets eh? me my mom told me when you have a problem in your marriage call me and talk to me or go to church and talk to your god but don't tell people even your own siblings they will use it against you you understand imagine to sasa bonako anakojoa kwa kitanda uende umekutana na mabesti zako na kwamba eh eh hey, mimi siko anajua hata kama huwa anakojoanga kwa bed aki anakojoanga tukiamka asubuhi kitanda inanuka the next time they see kamau guess what they start labeling names watasema mkojozi watamuita mkojozi ndio ule kikojozi amekuja so siku moja kama huwa atakaa shangae eh hey, kikojozi nini kikojozi nini atenga atakuja ku realize wewe well, uliambia mabesti zako ati kama wana kujonga kwa kitanda that's your marriage secrets hizo ni vitu za kupelekea daktari awasaidie wapatie madawa msaidike muone ama mnulie adult diapers whatever you need to do to solve the problem but don't tell your marriage secrets saingine kwa marriage pesa kwanza ndio haina tukosanisha sana for instance me am a big spender not big spender like gucci nini no but me i love clothes mimi napenda simu mzuri napenda nywele napenda makeup napenda nguo so utaona maybe i overspend sometimes i overspend brana ananiambia rispa you need to slow down on expenditure because you already have clothes why you why do you want to continue spending spending i love then we start fighting so there's more important things in my i mean to do with this money than just spending on clothes so, naona, so as a married couple you're supposed to sit down and agree if I was spending a hundred thousand, a hundred thousand on clothes, more than it reduce to twenty k. I'm at ten thousand. I'm you just make yourself, you put yourself on a budget. See at lazima, uh, see at lazima we overspend. You understand? So finance is a big problem. Finance is a big problem. That's why so many people wanna kosana. Paul, apa itakata? Thank you. Thanks. Okay, so let's continue. Yeah, so you need to to keep your marriage secrets. Siri zenu mukufe nazo uko kwa nyumba. Usizike kwa kaburi ya sau saulika. But usiwai enda kwa mia mabesti zako. Siri za ndoa yako. Umesikia? They will use it against you. Na kuna siri ya watu wa wili ya mawatatu. Siri ya bibi na buwana na understand kuna siri ya bibi na buwana. Iyo ni saa. Lakini kitoka nje. 
kila mtu atajua na siku hizi kila mtu unajua social media mtu ataandika online oh kama huwa anakoja wanga kwa kitanda so kama we be a laughing stock do you want the father of your children to be a laughing stock no aya another point is submissive kukua submissive we are not submissive eh we are not submissive mimi uko nje najulikana kama rispa faith Lady Rispa, a uh, celebrity, anapenda makeup, anauza cosmetics, akona matako kubwa, hizo. Hizo vitu zote nikifika kwa mlango yangu. Hii hapa. My Mendo. Nikiingia kwa hiyo nyumba. I'm not Rispa Faith. I am Mama Rian na mimi ni bibi ya Brian. Sawa? Eh? I go to, I, I go to the kitchen, I cook food for my husband. I don't let auntie cook food, meals for my husband. No. Auntie can prepare for me kitungu, nyanya, hizo vitu dania hoho and just prepare for them there. But Rispa will cook for the husband. You understand? That's called being submissive. Yes, umetoka job. I understand so many women right now are chasing careers nini. So, ama so many women I, they have more money than their husbands so ukifika kwa nyumba unaanza kudharau mume wako unaanza kumwangalia ni kama he's not doing enough niko na pesa mingi kukunishinda wote aniambia nini acha niwaambie hao wanaume ni kama watoto wanataka tu wa treat vizuri wabembeleze kidogo papa na pale and then they will give you everything you want so you need to stay submissive unaona for ex mimi mimi I take care of my son mimi mwenyewe is so sexy I mean, my, my husband once told me, Yani, I like the way you're committed to our son. I like the way you take good care of him. You make sure he's okay. The fact that you can afford even 10 aunties in the house doesn't give you a chance to, to employ all those aunties to take care of your son. I take care of my home. Okay. Auntie anze kupika. Anti anze kuangalia mtoto. Anti ndo yu amesha kushare ndawa ya, ya bwana yako. Anti ndo yu asha fanya nini na nini. Kila siku ni anti anafanya kila kitu. Siku moja umepikia bwana yako. Akwambe ai hii chakula test kama vloi na test. Kwa nini nani amepika? Then useme ni wewe. Aseme ya pana. Ambi anti ya pike. Na unajua a way through to a man's heart is through the stomach. So ni ambie kama mwanamke. Uyo bwana atangalia wea matangalia anti. Of course atangalia anti kwa anti anamwangalia vizuri anampikia utapata bwana kwa melala na anti eh useme oh this man is a cheater oh huyu anapenda kulala na wafanyikazi oh and the problem is you you have to protect that eh we have to know we have to know our place as women women we are the pillar of the house sawa sisi ndo wakupika unaweza kwa aya mama mazetu mama mazetu sasa ipenya wako my mom is 58, almost 60 year old, eh? But she still takes care of my father. She still takes care of the house. Juzi ni mempigia simu madhe. Mom, sasa unadu ati nikona iron. Nakulizo una iron na unenda api akapana. I'm ironing clothes for your dad. <coughs> then I'm like, hey, mom, kwa ni badu una iron yenge daddy ingu? Akasuma, yes, it's my duty. It never stops. It never stops. And that's why they're tight like this until today. You understand? So, it's our duty as a woman to be submissive. You understand? Okay. Pointing in, eh? Ni pombe. Alcohol. Alcohol. Pombe, 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 pombe. Sisi wanawake sikuizi tunakunyo kama wanaume. Sisi ni magazla. Unapita hivi kwa club. Mtu, msiana meshika boti. Doyo, oh. Alafu unataka kuniambia wanaume wataku respect ndio huko kwa club na mashisha wait wait ongeza makaa ah inachoko <coughs> ongeza makaa what the hell umeona mamako akikunywa hivyo hmm? umeona mamako akikunywa hivyo hmm? wacha pombe wanaume wewe mwanamke unakunywa pombe kama mwanaume ya nini ha huh? it's not even sexy why are we drinking like men yeah, I'm, I'm not saying it's bad to drink. It's good to drink because I also drink, but I know my limits. Eh? Na kunyo wine, two glasses. Nikianza kusikia ni kwa little bit tipsy. I keep it away because I don't want to go out of character. Unaona? Because I'm a woman, I need to. You understand? I need to stay as a lady. But wanawake sikuizi tunalewa kama wanaume. It's not sexy anymore. 
Rispa mambo uko wapi? Niko kwa hao. Kuja pa hivi Gemini. Tumebaiwa maboti za 100k twende tuzi rarue. I'm not coming. You call me we go out to drink like men. I'm not doing that. No. No, 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 no. The older I get, I na kam ku realize vitu zingine is just unnecessary. Like kwenda kukunywa, ku kwenda ku hang it's just a waste of money. I start I I rather invest my money in something else. Eri ni nunue ma rice soap. Iyo pesa ni menda kukunyo kwa club 20k. Eri ni tumane ma rice soap ni flip ni unde pesa yangu. You understand? But, siku hizi wanawake tunakunyo kama wanaume. That's why you are not getting men. Unapata so many marriages they are fighting because what? Uyu demu na muambia che kulewa, angalia watoto, angalia po mataki kusikia. Kazi ni pombe, kazi ni pombe, kazi ni pombe. We, yeah, slow down on the alcohol girl. Sawa. We have to slow down on the alcohol. Sawa. Si jasema mwache pombe, nimesema you have to slow down on the liquor. Okay. Aya. Uh, another reason why marriages are failing nowadays is we are getting into marriage for the wrong reasons. Eh? Omona respafeta kona ki mansion. Wepi umenda kutafuta jama kona ki mansion. Umenda uko evo kumbo umenda kumboronga. Una understand? Eh? Umenda tuko evo for the wrong reasons. We unataka tuku kapo kukula pesa. You don't love this guy. You, you you know, getting in marriage for the wrong reason. Eh? Material things. Amesha kuli iPhone 14. No manyosha kimbeo sha ingia. No. Marriage is not all about having these big houses. Marriage is not about having iPhone 14. Marriage is work. Hmm? Marriage is work. Ni kazi. Kila siku ni kazi. Eh? Sawa. Aya. Another thing, why the marriages are failing? You're comparing marriages. Eh? Why are you comparing your marriage? Eh? Unona Rispa, amena na Brian Dubai, wameshikana mkono, sujuni. You don't know where we got that money from. You don't know what brand did to get that money. You understand? You don't know how much is worked hard for us to get that money. Don't believe everything you see on social media. Another reason why these marriages are failing is marrying too young. Unona watoto ametoka too high school. Washa pendana, washa za, tari washa enda into marriage. No. You have to go through life, yeah? Manaume, unakimbilia kwa wani? Hmm? Unakimbilia kwa wani? You have to go through life. Eh? End up out, date several people, build yourself, make some money, and then when you're ready, you say, ay, nimechoka. Nimefanyezi vitu mingi nimechoka. When you can sit down and start looking to go into marriage. Huh? Eh? Why are you rushing a 23 year old into marriage? You, 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 <laughs> maisha. Unafa wishi maisha. Okay. Another reason is domestic abuse. So many cases of domestic abuse. Uh, the moment is, he lays a hand, a hand on you, just walk out of that marriage, okay? Atukubali kupigwa. Ata si wanawake peke yake. Sikizi pi wanaume wanasundwa. So, akuna kuchapana, mkeza kupigana, then that's toxic. Just walk out. Another one is incompatibility, meaning uh, you're not willing to accept your partner as they are, but they want to ch you want to change their personality to suit your lifestyle. You understand? Eh? You start, unanza ulikuta, for instance, mimi napenda kuongea, mimi ni mtu bubbly, ni kinga hivi kwa room, I love to talk to everybody, I love to make every niko na hiyo sense of humor nini but my partner ni mquiet akiingivi kwa room ataka anyamaze mtu atauliza eh ako sawa ambia yes ako sawa na mbona amenyamaza that's who he is i can't change him sasa anza kumwambia ukifika kwa room anze kuchekesha watu aje kuchekesha watu ye yeah. you understand so just accept your partner the way they are sawa don't change them to suit your lifestyle you understand okay another thing is unrealistic expectations Umono uko online, mtu wamenulua Mercedes Benz, zimeko andani mabaloon, uh, wepi onataka Mercedes Benz. Nonajua mtu wako na earn 50,000 Kenya shillings. Ata tu wapi pesa kunua Mercedes Benz. Wewe just be content with the little you have. And you'll be alright. Social media is just a facade. Eh? Uko social media kuna mtu mwenye nataka kweka life yake ikiwa imperfect. Uko kila mtu life yake iko perfect. Mbono watu watoneshi wakiwa na shida. Mbono watu watoneshi maisha zao zikiporomoka eh stop having high expectations eh kama wewe si mtu wa kunua mawig za 70000 ndo ngare wachana nayo 
sugar bread zako za 1500 and you'll be alright, okay? Watch out in your comparability. Okay, so guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope I've educated somebody. I hope I've helped somebody. I hope I'm saving a marriage. So if you like this video, uh, give it a two thumbs up. Share it to your friends. And don't skip the ads. I love you all. Take care of yourself. And let's protect these marriages. Mwah.